What's good, everybody? Hey, check it out. Listen, I've made this before, but everybody wants to see it again as if I ha they hadn't seen it. So listen, we're doing a one pan breakfast skillet, right? We got potatoes over here. You know what I mean? We got some veggies. You know, we gonna have egg in it. Look, I got a smoke and dewy sausage because we love to have that flavor. And over here, we start with that mild Italian sausage. Super easy. Oh, and a yellow onion. And don't forget, the full ingredient list will be on my website, smokingandgrillingwithab.com, and that's W-I-T-A-B.com. Let's get it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And actually this is infused, right? I like to use that garlic. You can use garlic, scallion, you know what I mean? Uh, but garlic is a nice start, right? So I'm gonna wait till this heats up. Once I see that shimmer, mm, the aromatic that comes off of that lets you know you're working with something fire, right? So right now I got two pounds of Italian, you know, sausage, right? Again, this is mild, it's up to you. You can use hot, however you would like to do it, but I like to do everything on the mild side. All right, now we'll just go ahead and just add this to it. It's okay if your skillet is not as hot as you would like it to be. You obviously, you don't hear any uh, sizzle. Right now, it's starting to come up. Now again, this is two pounds. You guys can, I normally do it with one, but I want this to be a little bit more on the meatier side, right? So, we just put this in here just like this, and we let that work. Now what we want to do is we want to prep the rest, right? So. After this comes out, this is gonna render some nice flavor inside of there with the oils that come off of the pork, right? So we're gonna take that and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to, you know, use that to work with our potatoes. Okay, so check this out. I'll talk about this anytime I can. Listen, look at what it does. It's a meat masher. Grinds all this up for you. Not really grind, but it separates and helps you get it to be ground, you know? So look at that right there. Now, if you guys don't have a, like a, a cast iron skillet, you make this in something like nonstick. You know how it has that coating on there? This right here won't chip it. Now we start with our, you know, potatoes, right? So I'm gonna grab one of my potatoes. I've already washed and cleaned these. You can see they're still possibly, you know, drying or whatever you can see on the bottom. So they already clean, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this over here like that. Put this here, we're gonna open this up. I'm gonna drop this down here to a certain height, right? Just so that we can get it all. You wanna keep it centered. Now, if you guys don't have one of these, you can just cut them. You know, if you don't know how to cut them, you know what I mean? They got videos on how to cut them down. What you're doing is just cut down on your time, you know? So I make a lot of French fries, right? So bringing this down like this, right? So I take the little small ones off because obviously we're not going to use those. The ones like on the top and the edge, right? I like to keep the skin on. You guys, if you want to peel them, you can do that too. I just take all of the, especially the center thick ones and all of that, I just take them and I put them right here, right? I'm going to do a couple of more. Real simple, folks. You know what I mean? I got it. I got the gadgets that make it simple. All you guys got to do is cut them down into whatever size you would like them to be, and then you go ahead and make it cube, right? This just cuts down on the time. And if you follow in this channel, if you can get yourself one of these, please do. You know what I mean? Because I use them quite often, you know what I mean? It'll make your life much easier. You know what I mean? Uh, and they're good to be at the house too, right? So we just take them. Remember, I just use the thicker ones. You guys can do whatever you would like. If you want to keep them all, go ahead. But this is the way that I get down with these. Okay, so. Now look at the, look at how ground it is. You know what I mean, small pieces. This just does all the work for you. You know what I mean, I kind of like just use my fingers and just twist it like this as I'm going down and look at that. All right, now I turned off my fire. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and just add it on the paper line, you know, paper plate. You guys, you know, obviously you can use a, uh, a regular plate, right? You can just see the grease coming off. Right, so we just do it just like you see. Now I'm gonna finish this up and then we're gonna go ahead and move to the next. Now I'm getting ready to go ahead and just, you know, prep my veggies, right? So I set that over there on this side. You see how when I cut them like that, I take my knife, and I just cut that web out like that. Let me see, keep it so you guys can see it. You know what I mean? You cut that web just like this, and then this piece just comes right out. Now I want you guys to notice, look at the strips and how I cut them down. See that little bit on the thicker side? 
I don't want to really dice these down like that. I just want to go ahead and look at the size. I want them to be like that, right? That's a good size right there. That way when they cook down a little bit, they don't just fade away. You still get a little texture, you know what I mean? And it'll be visually stunning, you know, once we're done. Okay, so you want to do the exact same thing, you know, with the uh, green, right? If you guys want to use yellow, you can. And then we just want to move this around. And again, when you put that, it's really all the veggies, but especially when it comes to the onions, listen, the acid in that will pick up any of the fine, that, you know, that's stuck to the bottom. But my cast iron is, you know, really good with the uh, seasoning. So nothing really sticks to this. Every now and then something will be hesitant on the bottom, but no worries. I'm always coming with a little bit of the veggies. Okay, so now that I'm finished with my green and red bell, we just go ahead and add that to it. Okay, so coming back to this, look, I already had a bowl. I had a little bit of water in here. You want to start doing this before, the, you know, before they brown. You cut these into whatever size you would like for your, you know, your your potatoes to be in. But that right there is a good size for me. Look at that right there. Uh, you want them all to be about the same or exactly the same. You know what I mean? This way they all be ready at the same time, right? So this is something that we know. That's cooking like 101. If this is your first time hearing that, then look, welcome to the club. You're on your way. Okay, so I'm going to put these already in cold water, right? I should have put them in there before that. You guys, when you cut them, go ahead and cube them up then, however you would like to do it. That is, you know, keep them from becoming a little bit on the brown side, but don't worry. We are making a has brown, home fry, home has brown type of a uh, potato anyway, so we good. Now, remember we cut our green and red bell pepper a little bit bigger, because we wanted to have a little bit. I did that because I want to have a little bit more texture. We bleeding some of the taste, some of the flavor inside, but now you just want to go ahead and cut this off. Right, and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna remove this. Okay, so look, now I'm getting ready to take my andouille, right? We're gonna put this flavor inside of our potatoes, right? Now, we're finna put some of this flavor in the skillet. We're finna wash these potatoes. I'm gonna show you these potatoes in just one second. Let me just get these moved around. So once we got them to sweat down, I take these out, you know, we want to take them out, right? But I want you to look inside the pan. That right there left a lot of flavor and a little, a little andouille sausage, uh, you know, oil, right? And I'll just pour them on here like that. Right, and what we want to do is we just want to make sure we can get them as dry as possible, right? So you can see, look at that. It starts absorbing that water, right? And just add it. Now I'm gonna take just a little bit of olive oil and just drizzle some of this on here and move this around, right? We just don't wanna make sure, we wanna make sure nothing really sticks. You know? Now, this will be the first time that I ever put any type of seasoning on here, which I'm gonna put a little salt and pepper. But the main thing is, I just wanna make sure that I have it so that it can all steam, right? We want it all to be as tender as we would like it to be, right? But we wanna make sure it's uh, cooked. So we'll leave that working like that. Come with my pepper and a couple of pinches of salt, right? Now we haven't added anything to it. Right, as far as uh, salt goes, just whatever salt or sodium that was inside of whatever we cooked with, that did it. Now I'm getting ready to give this one last, you know, uh-oh, something always trying to jump out, right? All right, so then once you take your toothpick and you check them, oh yeah, you see this? I like this kind of consistency. You know what I mean? I don't want it to be, look, that's a little bit on the soft side, but when I shake it, it come off like that, that's it, you know what I mean? So this is what I'm looking for throughout. You guys can cook them down. If you want them to be crispy, you can put it. If you really want them to be crispy, just put in half at a time. You know what I mean? And cook them, keep tumbling them. You know what I mean? Then let them sit and they'll brown up just the way you want, it to be, want them to be. But I like mine to look like this. This right here says breakfast to me. Now, now that we have that going, now we're getting ready to start introducing our meat back. Right? 
Look at this. You see all of that grease that come up off of it? We're gonna bring some of that andouille in there. Now what we're doing now is we're really just heating everything up, right? Without all of the grease in there, look at this. Right? Now we're gonna introduce them veggies. I'm gonna tell you now, we're gonna get all them veggies in there. Look at that. Now I wanna reduce my fire, make sure I'm down to a medium, you know, medium flame. Okay, folks, so look. We got the eggs that's left over, right? I already took pictures of it. That's how you guys are here. You already seen that thumbnail, right? So listen, this is how I would do it if I was gonna do, I like my eggs. I guess they call them sunny side up. I'm just gonna make this little indentation right here, right? And what I do is I crack my egg while it's on my stove, right? I make four of those or five. You can actually get five. So if I set that there, one here, one here, one there, and one there, right? We talking about the indentations. All right, so then you crack this and you drop this in there and then you cook it. What you want to do is you want to put a covering over the top. If you don't have a lid, you know what I mean, a regular, uh, you know, like a top, just go ahead and put some aluminum foil over there. So that way the steam, as you're still cooking and heating everything up, this right here will cook this from the bottom and the top. Now I have videos like that. I will leave that up in the upper left hand corner. You guys can click on that and just look towards the end and it'll show you how to do it. But for this one right here, I left it like this because a lot of y'all going to have it just like you see it. Now, or you can scramble your eggs separate or however you want to do it and just have this going along with that. But this is the way I did it this time. Only thing missing is uh, whew, some of them flaky biscuits. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it out of here. I'm only gonna do it one time. I got some potatoes. Whew, I want to get a little bit of everything on there. And dewy, veggie, a little bit bigger and dewy. But you see that right there? Uh oh, I'm gonna go ahead and just grab it, put it on top. Cheers, y'all. All right, so look, now I just want to give you one last thing, another option. Listen, I put that inside of a, uh, like a, a large ceramic ramekin. Just put it in a microwave, wet up a, a paper towel, just have it damp, put it on the top, put it in there, and then it'll do it. Just get the egg. I can do the egg like that. I like my egg runny. And I want to show you guys, look, this is what it looked like when you put the cheese on the top. You know, just giving you guys options, you know. I'm going to go ahead and get some of this with the cheese on it. You know what I mean? And uh, you guys do it how you want to do it. But check it out. We're going to double cheers. Cheers again, y'all. Now again, just giving you guys options. Listen, I'm not finna over talk it. I've done made this a couple of times. You know what I mean? Showing you what it looked like with cheese, without cheese, however you wanna do it. I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below, what would you do to level this up? Tell me your meat of choice. You know what, I actually I have some gizzards. I should have put that in there too. We finna take it back down south, folks. Hey, with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there, listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And guess what, folks? This right here is gone. I'm out. Peace.